To my channel i hope you're all doing well having a great weekend today is actually a great day i don't know why but my vibrations are high i am feeling good within everything sweet everything nice is about plants i mean you seem to have responded really well to my previous video on plants so i'm really happy about that and also i want to say we're so close to hitting 2k subscribers let's get me to 2k when i release this video please and i thank you so much everyone that's subscribed and you know supporting me and following my journey and liking commenting i really appreciate it but if you've not yet subscribed and you're watching for free sha you're watching you're actually watching for free see your life sort it out please so i'm sure as you guys know that I'm crazy about my plants I love my plants I've only been a plant mother for a year now obviously I don't know everything about plants but I have been learning as I have been going um, I've killed a couple of plants I'm not gonna lie I have uh, because sometimes I don't know what I was doing and I might have been a bit neglectful this is what this video is about if you want to be a plant mother and or a father <laughs> Uh, but you feel like you can't do it because you're gonna kill the plants. I'm here to give you my top five plants that you will not kill, even if you tried. Honestly, even if you tried. And some of these plants, actually, in fact, all of these plants I've had experience with personally, and I have neglected them, and they're still with me. So yeah, open your ears and let. <laughs> open your ears and eyes and your pockets. Because after you watch this video, you're gonna want a plant in yourself, trust me. In fact, you're gonna want all five. Because they're really, really, really easy to look after, super chilled, and they just bring a great vibe to your house or your room or your environment in general. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first plant I want to share with you guys is the snake plant. So the snake plant is used to like really hot environments. So like the deserts of Ethiopia, like West Africa, Nigeria, you know, like sun. So where there's literally, where it doesn't really get much water. Um, and I've got a snake plant myself. I showed you guys in my plant tour video. And there has been times when I have missed watering it for like two, three weeks. And it has been fine it's such a great beginner plant you won't go wrong with the snake plant and you, you literally can't kill it and the great thing about snake plants is that it comes in many many different varieties it's about over like 60 or 70 varieties i'm not really sure but i know that it comes in so many different varieties and the more popular varieties are like the sense of your moonshine the twist one robusta and the cylindrica you know it gives you choice you don't have to stick to like one type you can even have like different types of snake plants just to give your your environment you know different <laughs> vibrations because i feel like each plant gives you like different vibrations so i feel like the great thing about snake plants is that they come in different varieties so you've got a choice and you can have many different ones if you like and you know it also purifies your air who doesn't want that it's also great if your house doesn't have like a lot of light so it can cope well with a low lit environment obviously as long as it's not like pitch black like it can cope with somewhere where it isn't too like bright so if you wanted a plant and you were like oh i don't really have much light coming through a snake plant is a great plant to have so really snake plants aren't that demanding they just need you to just water them every now and again whenever you remember really and also dusting their leaves is also quite important because you know if you leave it for like two or three weeks dust does settle on everything so it's important to just remove that bit of dust and just to let the natural light get to the leaves properly without that dust in in like you know in the way i think all plants really benefit from being dusted um really so that's another tip for you there guys a little tip a little tip within the tip <laughs> um <clears throat> right so my next plant is a spider plant this plant is a little cutie it's actually so cute it's most commonly found in like tropical areas like in africa australia places like that so it's used to also you know dry like not being not being watered too much so the spider plant is very it thrives on being neglected i should say and it's important to like if you've got a spider if you're gonna get a spider plant to wait until the soil is like really like dry before you water it again so it makes a great beginner plant because if you neglect it for a couple of weeks the guy's gonna still be doing really well thriving and it's simple it's really really easy to look after not demanding at all so yeah spider plants are really really easy 
starter plants make sure that you don't let it sit in water if you're going to be watering your plants this goes for all your plants um make sure you're taking them out of the decorative pot and watering them at the sink so that all the water comes out before you put it back into its decorative pot you don't want to let your plant sit in water because that can cause root rot and your plant is literally going to die straight away so remember that so plant number three is the golden pathos or i just call it pathos and um, it is native to like southern east asia and honestly, this plant is a great house plant because if you want a plant that you're going to see growth so quick in, this plant is it. It is so easy to look after, not that demanding. You may need to mist it every couple of days. I missed mine every now and again. And I didn't realize just how much it grew until I saw a picture. Like I'll show you a picture of what mine looked like a year ago. So this is what mine looked like a year ago. It was just small and now it's almost a touching the floor like it's grown so so much i'm gonna have to cut it and like maybe make new plants from there but this plant is so easy super chilled out and you can forget about it maybe like a week or two and it will still be fine and this plant can tolerate different levels of light and obviously depending on what spot you put it on if it's obviously somewhere that's quite bright then obviously you may need to water it more often but if it's something that's quite dark then you may need to reduce your watering um a little bit instead of like watering every week so just sort of like check your plant and see how it's getting on i mean it does like a bit of a humid environment but it's not like it it will still thrive if you don't mist it or if the place that you put it is not that humid because it's that chilled out. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so chilled. You can literally grow it anywhere. So your pathos are actually great and they're just a pretty looking house plant. They're really, really great. I like to hang somewhere and then just let them like drill down the wall. Uh, I think they just look really pretty and they just give like something to the environment that just makes it look like, oh, you know how to look after plants kind of thing because uh, they really just look after themselves well you need to obviously water them so plant number four is the zizi plant i don't really know how to say the technical name so i'm just going to put it on the screen here you can read it for yourself i'm not trying to embarrass myself here um <laughs> by not pronouncing things properly so this plant is um native to eastern africa so also again it's used to being in a hot environment maybe not being watered as often these plants are absolutely highly dependable house plants because you literally cannot kill it. It can tolerate all kinds of levels of light, whether it be bright light, you know, when it's dark. And obviously, depending on where you put it, you're going to have to adjust your watering. If you put it with somewhere where it's quite bright, then you might have to water it a bit more often. But it can also tolerate somewhere where it's quite dark, where you don't have to maybe water it as often. So I've had my Zizi plant for like a year now and I can't complain. Like it's so, so chilled out. And there's been times where I forgot maybe to water it for like two weeks and it's still been. So that makes it a great house plant where you don't have to like be looking after it too much. You can just forget about it sometimes for two weeks. And it's also quite good with Zizi plants to, um, let the soil completely dry out before you water it again so yeah these plants are great and they look so pretty and they come also in like different varieties it's like the raven which is like a bit more darker and the one that i have is a bit more greener and i definitely want to get the one that's more like darker the zizi raven because it looks so pretty um but yeah these plants are great and now we have come to the fifth and final plant which is the jade plant uh, mine is still quite tiny but it is growing um it was a lot smaller than this when i got it so the scientific or technical name for this plant is crassula ovata if i haven't said that right whatever um but it's uh it's <laughs> it originates from south africa so how could i not have one of these literally where near where i'm from so this plant is super like chilled out and again it's used to like harsh like hot environment like a desert type environment um a hot climate basically so i don't really water this plant very much and i leave the soil to literally completely dry out before i even water it again and in the winter months sometimes i probably leave the watering like two three weeks in between with that water it doesn't really require like somewhere like a humid environment it can tolerate dry air um even though i do miss it when I missed all my other plants, I just wanted to miss out. So I just missed it, even though it does not require it at all. Um, it's really, really easy and great to take care of. And also depending obviously on where you put it in the house, if it's closer to the window, you know you're gonna have to water a bit more. If it's a bit more somewhere it's darker, you know you're gonna have to water it a bit less. I always say, put your finger in there, just, you know, get dirty and nasty. <laughs> just put your finger in the soil uh, and test it out before you water it and really just double check that it's actually dry because 
Root rot is nasty. Root rot is real. So yeah, there you have it guys. We have come to the end of this video. I've enjoyed filming it actually. It's been fun. Um, don't forget to like, comment and share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. <laughs>